Okay, so I'm going to go through a basic setup of the Headless Mate. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and find the Headless Mate GitHub page for the firmware. And on this page, we can see a setup guide. And this is the guide that I'm going to follow. In terms of hardware that we need, I've got a TNC 4.1. I've got a brand new micro SD card. And I've also got a USB-C to USB micro cable. Because I've got a brand new SD card, I'm not going to need an SD card reader to format the card. And I'm just going to do a basic setup. So I'm not going to use a numpad or a gamepad to control the mate. I'm just going to use my computer keyboard. In terms of software, let's go ahead and download the first thing that we need, which is titles. And I'll just grab the, uh, the Mac OS version. And all that we need for today is just the Thai updater. I've copied that to my applications folder. And I'm also going to go ahead and download Touch Designer. And I'm just going to grab the macOS version. And I'll go ahead and just open up the DMG file. And I'm going to install Touch Designer just by dragging it into my applications folder. Now, in my case, I do not need the SD card formatter because my SD card is brand new. And that means I can also skip this first step. And so we can jump straight to step two, installing the Mate Headless Firmware. So I'm going to grab the firmware from the link here. I'm going to get the newest version, 1.3.4. Now, instead of clicking on raw, view raw, I'm going to control click and just save link as. And this will let me save this file as a hex file, which is what we need. We then want to unplug any Teensy based devices from our computer. And I'm going to go ahead and plug my TNC 4.1 directly to a USB port on my computer. Right. 
And I'm going to go ahead and open up the tie updater. Oh, we've got to deal with the macOS security stuff as usual. So we can right click and hit open and hit open. Now we can click on upload and I'm just going to find the hex file for the firmware that I downloaded earlier. And there it is. And it will just take a few moments to update or upload. And there we go. I'm then going to go ahead and disconnect the Teensy. And next up, we can then grab the Mate Display Touch Designer um, patch. And we'll get it from the GitHub here. And what we want to do is download the whole zip folder. I'm saving it to my desktop and I'll decompress it there. And within the folder, the Mate Display Touch Designer folder, we'll find a Mate Display Touch Designer.toe file. And if I double click on that, it'll launch up Touch Designer. Now, if you haven't used Touch Designer before, you may need to create an account at Derivative. But we can do that through Touch Designer if we need to. So the next step is to insert the SD card into the Teensy. Make sure it's fully in because it's not spring loaded like they normally are. And then I'm going to connect the Teensy to the computer. Now that the Touch Designer app has launched up, we can see it's just got uh, these nice pink lines. I'm going to click down to Connections and Settings. And before I do that, if I go up to Dialogues and go to Key Manager, here's where we could manage um, our account and also our key for installation. So in my case, I had to make a free account to install the software. So you might have to do that as well. So yeah, under Connections and Settings, and serial port. We can just choose USB modem. And that should bring up the Mate display like that. Now at the moment, I can move the cursor around and control it, but I won't be able to hear it. So what I have to do next is just set up some way of monitoring the output from so in my case, I'm going to launch up QuickTime Player. We could use other software to do this. If we've got Ableton, we could set up a track to monitor the input. We could use Audacity. We could use other software as well. But I'll just use QuickTime Player, create a new audio recording. Select Mate as the input for the recording. Bring the level up. And then even without making a recording, we'll be able to monitor the audio from Mate through this. And there we go.